I want to talk about Justice for Kelly Thompson. For those who are very still, who are angry like I am, and you know something, again, the cops are up to no good again. We, we notice we have another police brutality case. This time that happened in California where uh, Kelly Thompson was a, a schizophrenic drifter who been described by parents as easygoing and not really a very violent person was beaten to death under custody by six police officers in a public transit station last month is now the subject of a federal and local investigation that sparked widespread uh, protests after being posted on YouTube great for YouTube because believe me we need this type of exposure and basically the, the discussion that's being discussed about is are police capable of handling uh, the proper training of dealing with mental illness, mentally ill people who are in the street. You know something, this is the thing that that pisses me off about what the police do because if you've seen the photos what happened to Kelly Thompson, uh, it is graphic, his face was bloody to a pulp, His he couldn't even close his eyes, his he had a cracked skull in the middle of his forehead. No matter how hard he tried to breathe, he couldn't breathe on his own. You know something? The fucking police had taken it to a 900 extreme. And you know something? If you're not capable of taking care of mentally ill people in the street and dealing with them in a proper way, tasering him while he's on handcuffs, beating him to a pulp, it's just fucking ridiculous. You know, it is ridiculous. And you know what's funny? This is not about a typical case where you see black and Hispanic or Asian being beaten to death. This is a white man who got beaten to death. And you know something? He was he might have been schizophrenic, but that doesn't mean that you beat the shit out of him like some dog in a street. And what's funny is is that the police don't take no shit when it comes to beating somebody's ass. You know, <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like the biggest problem that we have with this is that police need proper training and the men who were involved in making sure this man was was killed after being into a coma and died due to the suffering of injuries due from the cop, they all need to be punished, they all need to be sent to jail for life, and they all need to lose their jobs or be sued for hundreds of millions of dollars. This shit don't make no sense that the police have taken it to the extreme. I mean, we're talking about six officers that are on paid leave pending on an investigation by a county district uh, attorney. Uh, the family has filed legal uh, legal suit on the city as well as the police. Uh, a spokesman for the FBI Los Angeles office dis uh, district is saying that they they violated uh, Kelly's civil rights. And you know something? This video is... And you know what it is? A lot of people will say, you know, nothing will happen to the police. Yeah, that might be true because you know something... You know, we've seen this before where Rodney King was beaten to death by police officers, but they said that they had probable cause. You know, some people will say a dumb jury is going to free him because look at uh, Casey Anthony. Let's all remain calm because, first of all, number one, this man, Kelly Thompson, was beaten to death while being tasered like some wild animal like you like you know he's handcuffing you're still tasering him you're beating him with with uh with nightsticks i mean why don't you just blow his brains out while you're at it this shit don't make no sense the fucking police have taken it to a 900 extreme again every time we look at the news we see the same shit over and over again you know we see Americans losing their civil rights because the police act like they could do what the fuck they want. Well, you know something? I will say this to the police. Kiss my ass, you fucking assholes. I mean, now you're going to the extreme of beating mentally ill children. What's next? You're going to beat a handicapped kid that's nine years old because he's schizophrenic? What, you going to taser him? Beat him, with a, beat him with a stick and then kick his ass while you kick his teeth in? 
fuck you, you fucking dumbass cops. This is this is why I get so sick of them. And you know what's funny? Because the police always come up with the same excuse. We have probable cause. We were called in because this man was acting up wild. And he was going to uh, attack somebody. He was going to attack us. They will use the same excuse. But we all know that Kelly Thompson was not going to attack nobody. This man died five days later and was taken off life support. Because he probably went into brain damage and probably, you know, lost no all function. And there was no way this man was going to live with the injury injuries he suffered. Just another case of the fucking cops can't handle a situation in the street. These fucking beat cops, we have got to start punishing them. And you know something? We should all thank YouTube for letting this come out in the forefront and letting the world see. And I also want to thank the people who videotaped that because you know something? These police officers need exposure. They are not fucking Batman and Robin um, these officers basically put Kelly Thompson in the hospital with a swollen face, a bloody eye, black and black and blue all over his face. His face looked like he had just been ran over by a car. You know, and you know something, we have we have now uh, from the time that that this has been posted, we're going on seven hundred thousand people are, are looking at the video. But you know something, we need seven hundred million people looking at this because this bullshit doesn't make no sense. You know, here's a man crying out desperately for his dad. We all know he's schizophrenic. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know what's happening. They beat this man to death because they could not handle a man who was paranoid schizophrenic. What do you keep tasering him for if he's already down in the ground? Why do you need to beat his ass to get him down on the ground? Shit don't make no sense. And then they're going to go on, on leave with pay. Kiss my ass, oh fucking ass cops. You fucking police officers are really taking it to a new extreme. If you saw the picture of Kelly Thompson's face, you would say to yourself, this shit don't make no kind of sense. The fucking cops are nothing but a bunch of pussies without a gun. They may not like what I'm saying. You know something? I will admit that all these cops are not, not as bad. But you know something? We do have some fucked up ones. And these fucked up ones are fucking up the job for the good ones. You know, as somebody famous, you know, it, it's... It, it, I will say this though because I'll get to the famous quote in a minute but I just want all of you to know that you know something I want you all to keep posting how much you hate the cops I want you all to get involved with your local and local and administration and you know get involved in a legislative part get laws put out there to make sure that this shit never happens carry your 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 cell phones carry your uh, Carry video cameras, whatever you gotta do to catch the cops on point, carry the shit. Because right now, we got another person dead through police brutality. And it's kind of sad because, you know something, nobody needs to die the way he did. You know, I, it just pisses me off because people, you know, say to themselves, Well, okay, well, why are you criticizing the cops? They were just doing their job. You're telling me that you had to beat this man to death? Just because you were doing your job? Give me a fucking break. You know what? This shit don't make no sense. And you know something? The six cops that beat the shit out of him like a fucking dog. Kiss my ass, you fucking bitches. You're nothing but pigs like the way the Black Panthers have described you. All of you, all of you are just fucking assholes that need to be... You know what it is? I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to get over violent because you know something, because my anger is coming out. But you know something, Tupac Shakur said it best, that most cops ain't shit, they can suck my dick. So fuck you, you fucking pigs. Justice for Kelly, because we are going to get justice for you. And you know something, this was just another example of how the police don't give a shit about nobody but their own badge that whole uh, code of silence bullshit is nothing but what it is plain bullshit so you know what whatever you fucking dumbass cops you cops are too much he killed another man now he's dead now the family and it goes to show you it's not about race it's just the idea it's just basically it's us against them 
So you know something, these cops, you know, anybody who goes in the police force is nothing but a bun bunch of dumb fucking assholes because you're going to turn into them. They act like, you know what, it's us against the world and we got to fight the crimes in the street and, you know, they're going through personal problems and they don't make shit in what they do. So you know what, that the, it's not an excuse for the for the for beating this man like he's a damn dog. You mean to tell me that the police can't properly train these people when it comes to dealing with mental illness? Give me a fucking break. You know, this shit don't make no sense. And you know something? All you cops are nothing but a bunch of fucking pigs that don't care about nobody. You know, all you like to do is just violate people's civil rights. You, when you're being questioned, you tell people to shut up. You don't want them to question you. It's a good thing that people should carry their cell phones with the cameras. Make sure you got a camera in your car. Because these cops need to know that they can't do whatever anything they want. So fuck you. And you know what? Kiss my ass, you fucking pigs. You pig, you pig pieces of shit. Don't care about nobody. You know, here's my here's my right. Kiss my ass, and I hope that whatever happens to the six cops, I hope that they go to jail for life. I hope they get death row. And you know something? Realistically speaking, I hope you sue them for every dollar they make. Cause while they're beating this man to death, we this man lost his life being in a coma in pain for days. Because the police can't properly train. They had to teaser this man. Beat him to death. And now he died because of his injuries due to the cops. So you know what? Another example of what, of what our, our police finest is doing. You know, we got police out there that don't give a shit about us. Kelly Thompson is dead. Now we got another case of more... Now we got... Uh, Another example of what's happening to citizens who depend on the police for help. Jesus Christ, you know, it, this shit don't make no sense. Rodney King, he got his ass beat by the cops. Then you got Eleanor Bumper, she was shot by the cops. You know, you got Edwin Perry, he was shot by the cops. I mean, Amadou Diallo was shot by the cops. You know, I mean, what, what, what is going on here? You know, I mean, now we got cops beating ass, and now they're going to kill a man and put him in a coma. You know, kiss my ass, you know. This man should not have been dead. And you know something? Congratulations to the people who videotaped it. I hope all those cops get what they deserve. Because you know something? A man lost his knife, and he got pulled off life support, and now he's dead. So you know something? We want justice for Kelly Thompson. Because I seen the photos on CNN of what his face looked like. And believe me, you know, I would definitely want the world to see what's happening here. Because we need justice for Kelly. So Kelly, we are sorry it happened to you. You didn't have to be treated like some wild animal because you have mental illness. It seems like people who are mentally disturbed or have a disability, they don't need to be treated like wild animals. You know... It's just sad what's happening to this world and it's getting worse with the police. So you know something? Kiss my ass, you fucking cops.